day one here on Fantasy High. Uh, it's been months of work leading up to this point. So the cast has created their characters. So the setting, the background characters, and all that stuff, that's all yours truly. These guys are the main characters. They're gonna drive the action through what they choose to do. Now, I have some loose idea of what I think might happen, but uh, it's a foolish DM that assumes that everything's gonna go off without a hitch. So the best thing you can do is prepare for wrenches to be thrown into various works. This whole world is invented by everyone that sits around that table and Brennan, the dungeon master. So they're just talking and describing the world. And then when we watch, we're painting the picture based on our life experiences and what we've experienced. When he says there's a giant mountain, everyone's seen a different giant mountain. I'm picturing the biggest mountain I've ever seen in real life. You're picturing a different mountain. It's not the same mountain. So when viewers watch this, they're inventing their own weird kind of world inside this world. They've created such an amazing world and Brennan is such a good DM and then all of the sets that Rick and his team have made are so beautiful. But the thing that I get to leave with every single night is I just had a really, really cool time with my friends. Brennan is an amazing DM. He knows more about D&D than I feel like I know about anything. You know what? I think you're in for a little surprise! Boom! Say your prayers, wash your hands, and get ready to get to school! Ooh, daddy! I like that people get attached to these characters, that it's collective storytelling, but if you act stupidly, you get punished. Your character might die or might get hurt or something like that, uh, or it might affect the storyline permanently. So I like that it has consequences. It feels real. Like when I look at Lou and we're getting our makeup done, he's Lou. When I look at him and we're in there, like he is Fabian to me. Many of my D&D &D memories are like much more vivid than my own memories. <laughs> Just because that makes it sound like my life is lame. It's not because I play a lot of D&D, &D, but like you have the most epic emotional heights and that's, I don't know the science of it, but I think that there's something about when you're really emotionally invested, your brain is minting out memories like crazy. I'm just like living in it. Like we don't take breaks in between shots. We just shoot all the way through, you know, like a few hours. So I'm just like engrossed in it. And I am Kristen and these are my friends and like these attacks and stuff are real. And then when it's over, it's like, oh yeah, that was just, make-believe but like <laughs> I'm, I'm still like carrying it like why are all my back muscles tense john hughes is right like there are fundamental i guess human goblin <laughs> orcish things that like connect us all it really is like a very intense form of character acting that asks you to really live in a person's skin we don't want to over edit the experience we don't want the viewer to think like that we cut big chunks out because we didn't. We don't want to feel like we took this line from this person and we cut out all the chunks in between and we made it seem like this thing happened that didn't. We are letting the show be as improvised as it actually was. As far as I'm concerned, we have some of the best improvisers in the world and they're sincerely actually playing this game. They're not making fun of it, they're not ironically playing it, they're not looking down on the game as if they're the cool kids and they're playing this nerdy thing. They are totally and completely enveloped in their characters in this world, sincerely playing this game and being very, very funny while they do it. You're not, you're not even straddling a line between a story and a game. It is a perfect wedding of the two. The game matters because it's attached to a story that you love, and the story matters because it's a game you're all playing together. It's the best thing in the world. We hope you enjoyed this look at our behind the scenes footage from filming the first season of Dimension 20. If you want to catch even more episodes, head over to Dropout right now and sign up. And remember, Dropout is now available in 120 countries worldwide. Head over to dropout.tv and start your 